Why did you think that God is not going to destroy you? If you are a sinner, read. Shall die by the sword. Shall what? Shall die by the sword. He's killing when he comes back. Teach. He's killing. He's not playing. Go to. Let's find out. We go First John three and four. Bring it up. We gotta understand. If if sin is subjective, it's evil. If evil is subjective, right, bro? If evil is subjective, meaning evil is whatever you think is evil, good or bad, right? Then. How will we ever know how not to be put to death? How would this be a warning to us? How can we learn from the Bible? Because it's all what you think of it, all what you make of it. Bring it up. The Bible entails very plain instructions, basic Peach. instructions before leaving Earth. A lot of us like that acronym or that, um, that uh, sim similitude of, of Bible, right? Because it fits if, you, if you're in your right mind. Basic instructions before leaving Earth, right? So let's deal with that. Come on. The book of First John chapter 3 and verse 4. These, these are the instructions, what not to do and what to do. Right? Go ahead. Whosoever committed sin, transgressed also the law. The law is what God is judging. Have you done wrong or have you done good? It's by his law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. So it's not subjective. It's not what you think of it. It's whatever God say don't do. If you go against that, if you do it, he's killing you. That's right. Just like that. It's not confusing. It's, right. not, a, it's not open to interpretation of a bunch of people's opinions or subjective, as the woman said. Right. Right? No. God, if you're not doing what he said, he's killing you. If you're calling yourself by another name, he's killing you. Bring it up. If you're not uh, subscribe to, to his word, which is the commandments, he's killing you. Right. It was. Finish that. Yep. The book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 10. Come on. All the sinners of my people. All the sinners, all those transgressing the laws that are written in everybody's Bible. All the people going against those laws, come on, shall die by the sword. Shall die when he returns. Shall die. Those are going to be the sacrifice. Right. You know what sacrifice means? To draw blood. To kill. To kill. That's what that means. Bring it out. Which say? Which say? The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. I ain't done nothing wrong. God don't. God love me. God don't care what I got. God ain't gonna kill me for what I got on. Bring it out. God ain't gonna kill me for I'm calling myself a nigga. I'm calling myself a black. I'm acting like a Negro. God ain't gonna kill me for that. Read it again. All the sinners of my people. All the sinners of God's people. All of them. Come on. Shall die by the sword. Shall die by the sword. But say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's what who is he talking about? All those that these are these are all these people, just like the woman that just left, all these people and all these lying. Funeral homes, right? That's what churches are, funeral homes. Full of dead men's bones, full of dead men's bodies. That's what churches are. All the sinners of my people which say the, the, uh, uh, shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake us. What's the evil? What's the evil? Going against God's commandments. Teach! Overtaking them being when God come back, he killing them. He killing them. Oh, we good. Jesus ain't coming back to do that to me. If you've been taught any of these Christian, any of these sects of Christianity, you got Baptist, you got Mormon, you got Seven Day Adventist, you got Jehovah's Witness, you got Pentecostal, you got Catholic, you got uh uh uh, give me some more, uh, uh Pentecostal, uh, Pentecostal, you got all of that. You're dying if you don't repent from those. That's You're right. dying because you know why? None of them teach you to keep the commandments of God. Right. None of them teach you how it is that you fell into slavery. Bring it up. None of them teach you your heritage. Give me Sirach chapter 24, verse 23. Bring it up. Sirach chapter 24, verse 23. They teach you religion. They teach you how to follow man, not God. Not God. And they tell you that God is okay with you. That's why these people, are these people under these uh, uh, religions, under these spirits, they're the ones saying, oh, God ain't going to kill me when he come back. I'm one of the good ones. I'm righteous. I'm holy. But that ain't what the Bible say. That ain't what God said. Teach. Come on. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Come chapter on. 24 and verse 23. Read. Read all these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. They say all these things, bro. All of it. Like the sister, so y'all do everything in the Bible. So ain't that what the sister said? I don't know if you was here yet. Sister, so y'all do everything? Yes. Or are we going to die? Right. It ain't no different for us than it is for y'all. Right. It's the same thing. You know, we just happen to have walked this walk a little bit longer than before the people we talking to. 
Right. And we're trying to tell y'all the same. Y'all got to do it. We're warning you. We're giving warning to you from God. That's Everybody right. say they got a Bible. If you ain't got a Bible, you don't believe the Bible, you hate God, keep it moving. But if you say that you got a Bible, if you say that you're not evil, if you say that you keep the laws of God, right, at any capacity, this is for you. Teach. Even the law, which Moses commanded for inheritance. For what? Inheritance. The laws of God are our heritage. That's right. Our heritage. When you take your baby and you you walking through the photo album with your baby, this your auntie, this your grandma, this that time when we was, right? When you tell your baby, when you tell your baby, don't you steal out my wallet, boy. Don't you join no gangs. Don't you do, you don't do all that. That ain't our heritage. That ain't where we come from. Bring it up. Is that a religion that you're teaching him? That's how good it's is that it's religion? Not religion? No, that's not religion. That's not religion. That's your heritage. Are you giving your son his heritage? That's who he is. What he came from, right? Now, of course, you can't do that if you steal it. You can't do that if, 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 if you join in gang. You can't do, you understand what I'm saying? But without hypocrisy, the, 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 you're giving your children heritage. And God gave us his laws for our heritage. His laws, his wisdom he gave to his sons for an heritage. Right. Uh, so Rock, chapter 24, verse 23. Yeah. All these things. All these things. All of it. Come on. Or the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Come on. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. Watch this. Unto the congregation. Unto the congregation. Not one brother over there. Not one sister over there. Not another brother over there. To the congregation. All of them. Of Jacob. Of Jacob. Of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Right. Bring it up. The Bible, throughout the Bible, I don't care where you go, is talking to one people. That's right. right. So as the, 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 the statement that you introduced yourself with, we got to unify. We got to unify. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verse 1. Come on. Gather yourselves together. So it say, gather yourselves together. Now who are we talking about? The congregations of Israel. Under what? Our heritage. Now we have a heritage. Now it ain't just my brother, he from Ephraim, so they like, you know, uh, uh, Ephraim stuff. They like uh, Puerto, my brother Puerto Rican, so he, they like Puerto Rican things. No, 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 no. The Bible say, the Bible say, gather yourselves together. What is it talking about? To our heritage. Right. Under right. our heritage. Bring it up. Which is the same. That's the one thing that we all have in common. Once we come back to it, it's not opinionated. It's not subjective. It's not. It's what God say or else. And it's the only power we have to unify. Right. It's, right. it's nothing. We can't say, let's, let's all be cool. Right? Because if a, if a brother think that he can have 10 wives, including yours, right? And you don't think that, but y'all, there's no fighting between y'all. Is that still, is that really peace? No, no that's not peace. Right. That's not peace. Matter of fact, hold that. We coming right back to it again. Amos 3 and 3. Amos 3 and 3. The only thing we can unify on, brother. What's your name? Donovan. Donovan? Donovan. I'm your one of them. All right? The only thing that we can unify on, right, is our heritage. Is our heritage. And I'm talking about the heritage that wasn't given to us by the white man or wherever we landed as slaves or captives to. I'm talking about the heritage. You good with that, bro. Thank you. I'm talking about the heritage that God gave us before we were slaves to anybody. How we were created and what we were created to do. Right? Come on. The book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 3. Read. Can two walk together? Can two walk together? Can two unify? Except they be agreed? Unless they agree? It's impossible. That's so right. if you believe this and he believed that and I believe this and he believed that, we ain't unified. We can smile in each other's faces, but we are not unified. We are not gathered together. Bring it out. It's always going to be beef. Always. That's why you can have, without these laws, you can have two of our people, right? And it's only a matter of time before they eat each other neck. Bring it up. It's only a matter of time, bro. That's right. You can grow up together. You can have went through wars together. You can do whatever. But if you ain't got something that does not move, that's not subject to your opinions, that's not subject to your emotions or feelings, unless you have that, that relationship is going to go awry. Bitch! It's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's why we got this saying, it be your own mans. It be, they say, nigga, be your own niggas. You heard that before, right? It's a term. It's a figure of speech. And it's true. It's a proverb. That's true. It be your own niggas. Start off good, but something always go awry because we don't have our heritage. Right. There's nothing governing us. There's nothing saying, thou shall not kill. There's nothing saying, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Bring it out. There's nothing 
in the, the, the rules that, and the religions and uh, uh, the policies and things that we learned in this hell, it's nothing telling us that, that only God, only our heritage tells us that. That we're not being taught in our schools, in our churches, which are cemeteries, right? Nothing where we go to expect to learn how to live or learn anything about life is teaching us those values. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.